Hey learners, what is up? Let's learn something today from Master J. For today's video, we are going to discuss the two ways of writing the elements of a set. The first one is the listing or roster method. In this method, a set is described by listing the elements separated by commas within braces or curly brackets. This is the most common and simple way of writing the elements of a given set and I'm pretty sure that you are familiar with it already. For example, let P be the set of primary colors. So set P will have the following elements. Red, yellow, and blue. And that's it. This is how you write the elements of a set in listing or roster method. For the next example, let D be the set of whole numbers from 15 to 20. Based on this, we can say that set D will have the following elements. We just list down the elements one by one. The third example, let Q be the set of consonants in the word kindness. So the elements of this set will be listed down just like this. Take note again that similar elements are only written once, and the arrangement of the elements does not matter. Now let's have this one. Let M be the set of multiples of 4 less than 20. So similarly, the elements of set M will be listed down just like this. For our next example, let K be the set of states of matter. Take note that in listing or roster method, if the elements of a set are words, we always use small letters. So in this case, the elements will be represented just like this. For the last example, let N be the set of counting or natural numbers. As you all know, natural numbers always start with 1. So to represent this set, we write it down like this. If you notice, we use an ellipsis after listing down some elements because the given set is an example of an infinite set, which was already discussed from our previous video. The second method in writing the elements of a set is what we call the set builder or rule method. In this method, a set is written by describing the properties that all the elements have. Take a look at this example. Set P has the following elements. As you can see, it is written in roster or listing method. And if you look at the elements, we can say that they are all examples of primary colors. So to write this set in set builder or rule method, we still need to write the name of the set, followed by an equal sign and an open bracket. Then we write this one. This is read as x such that x. Afterwards, we write the property or the common characteristic of all the elements. In this case, each one is a primary color and then we enclose it with the bracket. So this is how you write a set in set builder or rule method. Now how do we read our answer? We say that set P has an element X such that X is a primary color. The X that we talk about here refers to each element. Next, let's have set D with the following elements. Looking at the elements, we can describe them as whole numbers from 15 to 20. Therefore, 
to represent the given set in rule method, we write it like this. To read this one, we say that set D has an element X such that X is a whole number from 15 to 20. Looking again at example number 2, aside from describing the elements as whole numbers from 15 to 20, we can also describe them as whole numbers between 14 and 21. And so, we can have another answer and write it like this. Reading this, set D has an element X such that X is a whole number between 14 and 21. You see, we can have several answers in rule or set builder method, provided that the different descriptions that you give are all pertaining to the given elements. Now let's have this example. Set L has the following elements. Looking at the elements, we can say that they are all months that start with letter J. But, it is not enough to say that they are just months. Because if we say so, then why is April not included in this given set if all of its elements are just months in a year? So this is what you have to remember. You must always be specific in describing the elements of a set when you represent them in set builder or rule method. So in this example, set L will be represented like this. Set L has an element X such that X is a month that starts with letter J. For the next example, we have set Y with the following elements. As you can see, with the presence of an ellipsis, the elements are infinite or never-ending. Also, they are not divisible by 2. And those numbers that cannot be divided by 2 are called odd numbers. So set Y will be represented in the rule method like this. Set Y has an element X such that X is an odd number. Next, we have set E with the following elements. Looking at the elements, we can say that they are all divisible by 2. And those numbers that can be divided by 2 are called even numbers. However, it is not enough to say that they are just even numbers. Because if we say so, then why is 12 not included in this given set if all of its elements are just even numbers? So again, you have to be specific in describing the elements of a set when you represent them in set builder or rule method. So in this example, set E will be represented like this. Set E has an element X such that X is an even number less than 12. For the last example, we have set H with the following elements. Clearly, the elements are multiples of 10. But to be specific, they are multiples of 10 less than 60. And so, our set will be written down like this. Set age has an element x such that x is a multiple of 10 less than 60. So those are the two ways of writing down the elements of a given set. Before we end our video, take note of the following. There are two ways in writing the elements of a set. The listing or roster method. And set builder or rule method. In the first one, the elements are listed separated by commas within braces. In the second one, the elements are described based on their properties or characteristics. So there you have it class. I hope you learned something from our video and thank you for listening. See you again next time, masters.